Fig hunts need fig views. Fig hunts need fig views. Fig hunts need fig views. Right here on YouTube. Fig hunts need fig views. Fig hunts need fig views. Fig hunts need fig views. Right here on YouTube. Step off, people. I'm taking over. Hey, YouTube, fellow collectors, newcomers, and most of all, people that really do love my content. It's your boy, Mr. Starch, back at the game with another figure review. Today, I'll put on your phone, TV, computer, or whichever device you watch the video on, I am bringing you a review from McFarlane Toys, DC Multiverse, Owl Man. Yes, the crime syndicate. Yes, the bearded figure. Starro. Yes. Now I have the other the other two, you know what I'm saying, Superwoman and um Ultraman, but I hadn't opened up neither one of them. But I got to take this guy out of packaging. Seriously. He looked dope from the inside. I only can imagine how he will look once I take him out of this package. Speaking of package, let's get into the packaging that he comes in. So as you can see at the top, he got twelve. Got DC Multiverse at the bottom, Owl Man. Got the build a figure Starro at the bottom. 22 points of articulation at the top. So we're gonna look at the side right here. And as you can see, Owl Man, Crime Syndicate, DC Multiverse, McFarlane Toys at the bottom. On this side, you know, DC Multiverse, Owl Man, and um McFarlane Toys at the bottom. Ain't really nothing on the top. You got that right there. If you want it, you know what I'm saying? There it is for you. If you ain't seen this guy your target, you can use this to go see if you can find him at your target. And let's check out the back. And as you can see, it just got the builder figure. And they got the other figure down there. And then they got one figure right here that's not even um on here. I mean, it's on here, but it's not on here. Meaning that I think that could be that... um. The evil Green Lantern, I think. Or the Flash. I can't wait. I can't wait to get all four of them. So, without further ado, people, let's get ready to get in this guy. And um, when I come back, he'll be out of package. And the reason I got him angled this way, because if I have him like this, there'll be a big glare. So, that's why I got him like this. So, without further ado, let's get into Owl Man. Okay, people, and I'm back. So we got my man, Owl Man, out of packaging. So we're gonna get into his accessories, which I'm not gonna take out the um plastic prison. I'm gonna leave him in. And um, yes, this is Starro. I'm gonna leave all this in here. I'm not going to take them out because I'm gonna put it back in the box until I um receive the last figure, so I'm able to do that build a figure. So you know, he comes with parts of Starro and that right there. Also, he come with a calling card. Exactly like him. And I think, yeah, this is the figure. It's not like a, a paint or a person or whatnot. It's a figure. It's the figure. <laughs> and here's the read-up of how I our old man came about. Y'all more than welcome to um, zoom in, pause it, and read it. So, and you know, you come with the basic, you know what I'm saying, McFarlane DC stand. So, first impressions, man, when I see this guy, um, dope, as usual. And um, McFarlane really, really upped his game. He really upped his game, people, when it comes to these um, DC figures, and um, with he, which he, his game was already strong anyway for his detailing. Y'all know McFarlane got great detail skills. His skills are, 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 are awesome when it comes to detailing. But now he really upped the game. For instance, let's get a closer look. Check this out right here. Check that out. Look at that ankle. You can barely see it. You can barely see it. And that's that's some good art uh detail work and what be what be falling be doing with these figures now. And um he do listen. 
you do listen to the people, man. For real. And I just want to start the um, um, the close up on them ankles. Well, on that ankle. But um, this is an awesome figure, man. For real. I don't even see how people will pass this guy up. You know what I'm saying? Owl man. <laughs> The reverse of Batman, so to speak. Man, this this joke looks so. It it figures we look so realistic, like you know what I'm saying. I can't, I can't stress that enough. Now check out the cape. That is that is awesome, man. And another one, Mr. McFarlane, and another one. Let's check out the back of the cape. Let's check out his back. Yes. Check out the boots, though. And we're just getting a little detail look, man, of the fig up and close and personal. And they got the owl man symbol right there in the front. Got those pouches on his belt. Just like Batman. This guy dope, man. I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait to do a review on this guy, man. I hope y'all enjoying it, man. Like, for real. Hope y'all enjoying it. So now, enough with the detailing look. Um, Focus. There we go. You know, people, I'll be trying to do my reviews on my phone and, you know... Trying to get her done with it. So, now, um, let's see. I think we ought to do the articulation. What you think? Yeah, let's do the articulation. Let's get into the articulation right now. So, let's see if we can get this man to look up. Mm, that's by the far as he's going to look. Look down. Oh. He's going to look down a lot. 360. Let's see if we can get that. T pose. You can get the T pose, baby. Shout out to my man, D. Amazing. Let's see. You got a bicep, double joints, and the elbow. Got some rotation at the wrist. Got a little hinge up in there. Ab crunch. That's another thing McFarlane getting good with. You know, his figures couldn't ab crunch forward. But now they are ab crunching forward like a mother. <laughs> you know the rest. Yep, it's ab crunching forward like a mother. And you know, you can always end the ab crunch backwards. So, it do have rotation at the waist and at the ab crunch. And speaking of ab crunch focus, you see how that blends in? See how that blends in? That is dope. Like, look at that. That is dope. He really getting good with these figures, man. I give him another year, and they, you know, he going he really gonna be taking over the uh, fig game for real. Seriously, you know, he already probably. I mean, he already have to be honest. Keeping a shelf stocked with figures and stuff, you know. So. But let's continue with the articulation. Um, Liz can do the splits. Oh, uh, focus. Yep, Liz can do the splits. Leg can go up about that much. Do not have arm. Um, well, this uh, got a swivel up in here, but it ain't got like a cut, like a, like a, you know, like a cut for a thigh swivel. Just swivel up in here, and he's got his double joints in the knee. Anchor rocker. Hands up and down. Side to side. And yes, Mr. McFarlane, this is what we've been waiting for all this time. That right there. We've been waiting on that. That's so beautiful. That is so beautiful. Hit the figure stand. But let's continue with the articulation. You got the toe hinge. Got the toe hinge. Our man, baby. Crime Syndicate. 
<laughs> yep, crime syndicate. So now, what I'm about to do is um, I'm going to get into some size comparison. Okay, so as we get into the size comparison, you know what I'm saying? We got my man, the Joker from the game. And we got um, also um, the Reverse Flash from the um, game as well. And as you can see, um, let's scale about the same all the way across. Let's keep this thing pushing. Okay, so, hey, y'all can automatically see that these two Rebirth, Superman and Batman figures are very short. Very short, especially this Superman. Look at him. Look at him. We need a taller Superman, McFarlane. We need a taller Superman. Um, I have enough Batmans where I can, you know, I have one that's really tall. I have one that's kind of short. But I do, I like this Batman, though. I like this Batman right here. I like a, a, a Batman that's slender, slender, not no beefy, big Batman like the Superman. So, um, but, you know, these two guys are very short to the owl man. Let's keep this thing pushing, man. Okay, so we got the three Jokers Batman and we got the Death Metal Batman. And as you can see, the Death Metal Batman is coming up a little short. But the um, three Jokers Batman, they're about the same height. And this is what I mean by a little taller Batman. But, um, yeah, he, I might do some picks with him. Um, cause they're, you know, with him and our man. But, um, the, um, Death Metal Batman, he's, he's coming up short. My final thoughts next, people. My final thoughts. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Okay, people. And I'm back. And this is my final thought of Owl Man, Crime Syndicate, DC Multiverse, McFarlane Toys. Um, detail is on point. Articulation is on point. The paint apps is on point. Everything is on point with this guy. The price, $24.99. On point. Um, just buy a set without no more. Build a figure PC, you probably been under right at 20 bucks. But, um, yes. Overall rating, man, from scale from, you know, 1 to 10, I give this guy a 9.5. Yep, 9.5. And, um, I highly recommend this guy, man. You go get, go pick him up. He's at your target. Go pick him up. He's there. He's there. If you at my target up here in Georgia, he's at y'all target out there in the United States somewhere. He there. But, um, yeah, man. I just want to hit y'all up with this review, man. Hope y'all enjoyed it, man. I enjoyed making it, man. I was ready to get this guy in the package, man. Check out his articulation and everything. So, our old man got it. Our old man got it. That being said, if this is your very first time checking out my review on Owl Man, do yourself a favor and me too. Subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so you'll know when to upload another review video. And I also did a hunt video today too. So y'all getting a hunt video and a review? Ha! <laughs> That's dope. That's dope on a Thursday night. So, that being said, forget ready to close it out, people. That being said, this is your boy, Mr. Starter, signing off. To all the YouTube for the collectors, newcomers, and most of all, people that really do love my content, deuces, and I'll catch y'all on the next one, baby. Peace out.